So the rumours are true, and it is now official that Aston Martin will be joining the Formula One grid for 2021. Now on the surface, it all sounds very straightforward, but if you followed Formula One for at least the past few seasons, you know that nothing is straightforward in the world of Formula One. Keen-eyed viewers will probably notice that the Aston Martin name has been in Formula One for a little bit of time now, being the title sponsor of Red Bull Racing. So it's Aston Martin Red Bull Racing Honda is the official name of the team. And yes, I know it's a long and awkward name, but that will be no more. That partnership with Red Bull will end at the end of 2020 due to the fact that Aston Martin, they're struggling a little bit at the moment as a manufacturer as a whole, not just their input into Formula One. And actually, they have been somewhat bought out by a consortium of business boys and girls led once again by Lawrence Stroll. You may recall that back in the summer of 2018, this very same thing happened. Lawrence Stroll, business boys and girls, bought out the struggling Force India team at the time, turned it into Racing Point, hence now we have Racing Point. Lawrence Stroll has now invested £182 million into Aston Martin, hence Aston Martin will join the Formula One grid in 2021 with Racing Point, making Racing Point now the new Aston Martin works team, the first proper works Aston Martin car we're going to have on the grid since 1960. They're a brand that have flirted with Formula One in recent years. Plenty of rumours of the team coming fully on board. Yes, there was that Red Bull deal I just mentioned, but actually back in 2015, there was almost a deal for Force India to be bought out by Aston Martin. So this kind of seems like the long way round of that deal eventually coming to fruition. But what a story, what a journey this team has been on since the early days of Jordan. Then we had those struggling days of Spiker. Early days of Force India weren't great. Racing point now that a stable midfield team a consistency, though, throughout their time in Formula One is the team have been real underdogs. And now you just get that sense with Aston Martin kind of coming on board, kind of being bought out, whatever. You seem like those aspirations are going up a notch once again. And I really do believe that, yes, the brand are going to be able to pump in plenty of money with Lawrence Stroll. And actually, I've not been quiet about how I think that team could do well this year anyway. With Aston Martin on board, with plenty more sponsors coming on board, I would imagine, thanks to the team being Aston Martin, fan base is going to grow exponentially, I am sure. I think this team could do really well over the next few seasons. It's not known just yet what's going to happen with engine deals. Currently, if you're not aware, Racing Point use Mercedes Formula One engines. And whilst Mercedes have their own rumours whether they're going to stay in Formula One or go, what is clear is that they will keep manufacturing engines. So for the moment, I would imagine they're just going to stay with Mercedes. They might throw in a curveball, but considering the manufacturer Aston Martin are already in financial struggles, which is something that Stroll is going to have to manage, and I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because that's going to be interesting to see how he deals with that. But also, I don't think they're really going to be heavily investing in Formula One engines if a Mercedes, a Ferrari or whatever engine is available. It's likely, very, very likely, that Lance Stroll will be in that car almost 100% likely that Lance Stroll will be in the Aston Martin car. Who's alongside him? Sergio Perez is under contract through and past 2021. So we could have Perez and Stroll in an Aston Martin for 2021. And I'm pretty confident this is going to be a popular team all round, including on career mode on the Formula One game. And I'm very excited and hopeful we will see a return of the racing green in Formula One. And I quite like the pink racing point. We might see a pink Williams take its place if BWT move over there. We don't really know just yet. But I would love to see a racing green back on the grid. And I think I speak for most of us. I'm really excited to see Aston Martin back in Formula One. And I think 
they could do very, very well. Just a quick one from me today, guys. This was news that, unfortunately, decided to pop up whilst I was at uni. But we, we can't not talk about this. And I am sure Weekly Mailbox, maybe even a little bit more of an in-depth analysis once we get a few more facts and figures about the transition over the next few weeks. I might do another longer form video but this is cool. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. If you are new around here, I try my very best to keep you up to date with Formula One and over the winter. It's a long winter. We're almost there at testing. Not long to go. I think it's about 12 days now until the first car launch. It's almost here. <laughs> almost here. Two weeks, guys. Fingers crossed. It goes quickly. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.